Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Dredge. We've just killed all of these mine suckers, as the airmen call them. And now this place is clear. We uh we have our um relic with us. He also gave us some bait, which we'll uh we're going to try and test to see what kind of fish we can get from it. So let's just do it now. So it said to throw it overboard, but how do you do that? Okay, 10% chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching fish with a rod. Excellent. Um, yeah, so you said throw it overboard. Do I just discard? Or do I actually catch fish and then use the bait? There, in this. Can I... No. You know what? I'm just gonna try it. Let's discard one of these. Hmm. No. Can be used to attract all manner of nearby species. Place. Nope. Oh, that, uh, that actually discarded it. That didn't, in fact, attract anything. <laughs> so, oh well. Wow. There's a lot of stuff here. Jeez. Look at all these crabs. Okay, I really need that cloth for the upgrade. Let's see, this one goes for 88. That's not bad. 51, 52. Let's put this there. Yeah, I can't put this anywhere. Oh, never mind. Uh, hmm. I'm just gonna pick these up because we're gonna go to a different area now. And of course, now I cannot pick the rest of the stuff up. Man, this sucks. This light is in the way. Oh well. It's also gonna be a problem because if I want to, uh... Yeah, I could sell these traps, of course. They're 270 though. So I'm gonna be losing money on these. You know what? I'm probably just gonna leave them here. For now. Because my storage is full. Crab pot. Uh... These are crazy. Looking. There really is no good way. Good place to put these, unfortunately. Oh well. Right, let's use the, uh, Vanish. Most evils for a time. Let's use Manifest. Alright, here we are. Dr. Loka also said we should touch those stones at night. You enter the house carrying the ornate necklace. The collector recognize it, uh, recognizes it almost immediately. An excellent find. It demands pride of place in my collection. He sweeps aside some scraps on a dusty table. Um, candle wax pooling in its corners. He places the necklaces, uh, necklace carefully in the clearing. And I suppose you'll be demanding recompense as well. Once more he opens the book, dust pouring from the pages as he reads aloud. You begin to feel weak, but you're uh, rooted to the spot. Knees on the verge of buckling. As he finishes speaking, you feel blood rushing back to your legs. A strange feeling of power grows in your chest. We're so close. One more remains. I loathe to suggest it, but the abyssal plane on the approach to the devil's spine is likely is a likely candidate. See what you can find. I'll mark a location in your, on your map where you can begin your search. 
What did they do to you? Um, uh, atrophy. This phrase instantly calls the closest shoal of fish, readying them for swift reaping. It can be heard from a great distance, so you need to be close to your victims. But the population is unlikely to recover from such vile trauma. Use it sparingly. Hmm. Are there... Okay, interesting, so... You probably just completely destroy that fish source. Wait, are you human? Your inquiry is met with a piercing gaze. Why, of course, as human as you are. How do you know where these relics are? I largely don't, but I read the, uh, I re I read the seas. I see the swells that give shapes to the formless. I hear the waves that whisper secrets to their witnesses. And I speak to the currents that hold a memory of all that they claim. Yeah, I don't trust this guy, but we don't really have any... Any other options here? Let's go and sell stuff over here. <clears throat> we really need to. And try to find some cloth. <clears throat> I have plenty of stuff in storage. Yeah, quite a few things. It's pretty cool. And, uh... Still no real... There we go. I suppose I can do this now. <laughs> Alright. So, trader. Let's uh, sell all 200. Was that worth it? I don't know. Maybe. Painter. Deliver the flag. Yes, sure. Attach it now. There we go. Wait, there's a dock worker. Uh... Ugh. The dock worker is standing motionless on the edge of the dock, staring down at the water. He seems paralyzed by fear at what he sees. What's wrong? He stares ahead in silence. You stand with him for a while. Occasionally, a tremor shakes his body and his breathing becomes labored. Let's stay with him. He strains, clenching his, clenching his fists, eyes shut tight with the effort. A tear rolls down his cheek. His body relaxes suddenly and his eyes snap open again. They are cloudy and expressionless. Fluid rattles through his lungs. A drop of dark ooze falls from one of his ears and lands on the dock. It slips between the boards and disappears into the waters below. What was that? A trembling head turns ever so slightly towards you. His breathing grows heavy in anger until you step backwards, leaving him standing there on the dock. What the hell? He's standing motionless on the edge of the dock, staring down at the water. He seems paralyzed. That's, uh, okay. Hello, is everything okay? Yes. Alright, let's, uh, get out of here. Alright. Back in this place. Lighthouse keeper? What is it? Nothing. Mayor? What could I do for you? Nothing. Alright, so, fishmonger. Let's sell these. 112. Okay. Now. Shipwright. Nothing I can do here at the moment. I've got these lights, but I don't, I don't have the space for them. Um, so... I do need to find more cloth. That's that's my priority right now. Wait, can I figure out how to get these four slots for my storage? If I do it like this, hmm. Is it? Because I don't have a single one. Unless I would do it like this. Hmm. I 
It's not really gonna solve anything here. I mean, I haven't really done anything there. Um, yeah, see, because I always get left with this part here. Yeah. Oh well. Might as well put this in there for now. Okay, so. Cloth. Let's get some cloth. I need it. I want it now. Now the uh, the shipwrecks and stuff do replenish, I believe, so we could potentially find some more cloth here right now. Look at these waters, they're so nice over here, the beginning area. You forget how nice it is. Oh, is that cloth over there? I think it is. No, not storage. Builder. Hey, yeah, thanks again. Okay. We've also got map. Yep, we need to go to the Devil's Spine. No, no, no. Yes, cloth. And there's more cloth over there. Finally! It acquires a cloth. Is a cloth, yes. My new lovely ship. <coughs> it's gonna be amazing. stock. Don't give me that. Oh no, that's not cloth. It's more freaking metal. But at least I'll be able to clear out a lot of the storage now that we'll be able to get to the next part of the upgrade tree. Oh, research part. Nice. It's very good. If we're gonna get more research parts for that engine, that would be great. Why is there always so much scrap metal, but barely ever any cloth? Ooh, another research part. Very nice. We're getting close to unlocking the jet engine. Seriously, there's more? You see what I mean? There's like two cloth when I was dredging, and there's so much of this. Uh, where was... Oh yeah, there's some more lumber here. Do I even have space for it? Let me see. Oh, uh, yes, I do. Got some here, and... And then I got some here. Well, for one. That might be it, because it's already low stock. It is indeed. Alright, I do want more cloth, but oh well. Oh, some special fish. Ooh, these are going to be big. I won't have space for them, but let's see. Oh, that's not a special one. Ouch. Shit, shit, shit. No, just stop. Leave. Leave. God damn it. I hate how freaking difficult it is to do that. <sighs> freaking hell. And of course now, yeah, that uh, that engine is fully damaged. It kind of sucks that it immediately destroys your entire engine instead of just um, reducing its output by the percentage of the things that were destroyed. I hate the fact how difficult it is out of catching uh, out of catching fish when something like that happens. It's like impossible to do. Because it doesn't happen that often, but, you know, instead of pressing X to get out of it, you need to, of course, hold Z to discard. It's very annoying. Okay, so, fishmonger. We don't really have anything. So let's just do research first. I just need one more. I think I can actually buy it. Well, let's do this. Nice. Oh, yeah, it actually damaged, uh, damaged two things. There we go. Two net spaces, additional slots configured. Oh, this is the new hall. Oh, jeez, okay. 
thought we already were working in the new hall now, but I don't know, of course. And of course I need more cloth. I need four cloth. <laughs> uh. What was that sound? There, and I need 1500 for that as well. Why can't I not take this? That's weird. Okay. So she doesn't sell anything that I really want here, unfortunately. Alright, repair all. It's only 60. We need plenty more stuff, actually. Let's put that into storage. Why are you putting it like that? Jeez. Yeah. A little more orderly. Okay. That is a weird sound. Fathomless winch. What is that? And where is it? It was coming from here. <sighs> Cloth. Yes, please. And of course, it's only going to be two again. Ow. Yep, depleted. Sucks, but oh well. And that special stuff is gone. Oh well. Uh, do we have any more cloth here? I have been really neglecting touching those dark stones. I still haven't done a single one at night, which I should. more fish there. No, what is that? Oh, yeah, it's these guys. Um, right. I suppose we just could go to the uh, Devil's Spine for now. Try to dredge more stuff up there, if we can. Nothing here. That's cool. But that's that crap, isn't it? No. Oh, it's this one, yeah. Pretty creepy as well. It's gonna be scrap. Let's see if there's any more cloth here. Cloth, please! Probably hasn't replenished yet. Yeah. Those are some big fish. More eels. More whatever majig. Oh. Okay, silver plate. A tarnished silver plate. The edges are slightly discolored, eroded by the salt. Oh wow, look at that place. That's a big thing. Look at our little boat. Doot doot. Actually, we can do that. Well, these are cool. Have we seen these? No. Snake mackerel. A slender with dull black eyes and a long uh, snout. A greedy jaw full of long, sharp teeth. These are cool. Ugh. Serpentine mackerel. It lashes out with its teeth, its tail. A hissing rises from its mouth and then from the water around you. Ugh. I don't like that. Okay. That's cool. We need to find the trader. And we need to find those stones we can touch. What is that over there? 
What the hell is that? Oh, volcanic stuff. More cloth. A man meets you as you dog, bracing himself against the wind and spray. Oh, rapturous day! A fresh disciple carried to me atop the waves. Come ashore, weak thing, and rest your weary soul. Um, just passing through. Nonsense! Your arrival was providence from the deep itself. I've been calling. Now, you are the answer. The rite of purification is almost at hand, and you are to be my replacement. Uh, I'm listening. Your trial begins immediately. Tell me, what does your spirit seek? Uh, happiness. Ha! <laughs> Merely an excuse to all the search for something greater. Happiness is, by definition, a compromise. And your flesh, what does it crave? The warmth of the sun. And yet it eludes you. Darkness is cast over the rest of your days. Finally, what does the world deserve? Everything. In a way, it deserves all that is washed ashore, freely given from the deep, but no more than that. The trial is concluded. You still have much to learn, but that knowledge will be delivered to you in time. Now, your role as my initiate is to act as a herald of the purge, just as I was for the one before me. The nearby spires blaze with eternal fire, yet the stone hearths of these three idols lie barren and void. Retrieve three fathomless flames from the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles. Visit the shrines of the deep. I'll mark them. They will offer further guidance and I must provide no more. Okay. Ancient temple statues. Which statue do you want to look at? Left. The statue holds a stone crucible. It's empty. Uh, we need to find these. Stone columns? The stone columns of the temple are carved with an ancient picture and text. Which carving do you want to look at? The swarm of small creatures. The carving shows a swarm of small fish surrounding a boat. The ravenous children alone, they are nothing. Together they summon her. Beneath these words, somebody has added a crudely scratched note. Do not let them grip you. Burn them away. Uh, the large eyeless beast. The carving is of a large fish with crossed-eyed eyes. The unseen mother, when the starving cannot eat, she approaches. Beneath these words, somebody has added a crudely scratched note. Blind but can hear her children, avoid at all costs. The bubbling vent. The carving shows a bubbling underwater vent, the breath of salvation. It burns those that mean harm, only the pure remain. Beneath these words, somebody has added a crudely scratched note, protection, follow the magma, find them. Hmm. Quite uh, cryptic. Alright. Well, thank you very much for watching anyway. We're going to continue next time when we uh, try to find the merchant in this area. So we can, you know, get more research going and stuff. And uh, I will see you all next time. A big thank you to my patrons, of course, for all of your support. Bye-bye.